I don't shy away from competition. Um, it's no secret that I'm extremely confident in my abilities. I work so hard. I wake up every morning and I, and I go hard from sun up to sundown. My name is Chuck Walton and I'm the voice of HU Sports. A couple years ago, I was approached by SID Ed Hill, who is a DC legend and a, a good friend and mentor of mine. And they told me they want to start calling the games, the football games at first. So um, they approached me about it, and uh, he figured my knowledge of the game, you know, and I guess he thought I was well spoken, so he said maybe I should try it. With 145 to go, here comes my father Andy basically instilled it in me when I was born. Um, in the hospital, he had a football inside my, um, you know, my crib and stuff like that. And I had a Bears baby rattler because I'm from Chicago. So um, that's where it comes from. And then just playing the game and having a passion for it. You know, I, I live, eat, breathe, sleep, sports. You know, I'm always sports, 20, 25, 8, you know. So um, that's pretty much where it comes from. Um, that's how I got my knowledge of the game, just studying the greats. Ohio University is a legendary institution. It's a lot of legendary broadcasters and, and analysts and anchors that have come out of Ohio University before me. So for me to be the first, to actually be the first official voice at HU Sports, um, people will never know what it means to me. Um, it, it gets me emotional sometimes, you know. I'm just thankful to, to be able to follow in the footsteps of Gus Johnson, Stanford Red. For them to consider me, I guess, the next in line, it means everything for me in my career field, and I'm thankful. I was going to a junior college back um, in Chicago and I had kept applying to the school. They never gave me a yes or a no. I didn't know what happened. So ironically, um, my parents had went to a restaurant, Gibson's in Chicago. So this guy was looking at my dad like, you know, who are you? Are people like, you know, dapping you up? And then, you know, my dad told him who he was, you know, just a regular guy that made it, you know, fairly, fairly well. Um, and basically, the guy named, his name is Brian Monroe. He's Howard alum and he was the last person to interview Michael Jackson. And he, um, he segued that into a big time role at CNN and that gave him even more clout. He was already at Ebony Magazine. So he wrote my letter of recommendation. He ended up being from Oakland, California where my mother's from. He graduated from San Jose State where my mother graduated from. So it was like God made the stars align. With HBCUs, you know, I think that's the key, hiring young, ambitious professors, accepting young, ambitious students, and I think that changes the culture. So I think it's definitely here to stay. I don't think it's going anywhere, you know. Don't believe the lies, don't hit, listen to the rumors, you know, Howard University is here to stay. And um, as well as, you know, Prairie View A&M and, and Hampton and Bethune-Cookman, all the great schools, you know. I think we as a people, we, we came together and we got HBCUs done and we're gonna keep it going because that's our legacy. That's something that when the earth is gone, they can dig that up and see about all the different HBCUs and how many great people came from HBCUs more than just Howard. I wanna be one of the best in the profession. I don't shy away from competition. Um, it's no secret that I'm extremely confident in my abilities. I work so hard. I wake up every morning and I, and I go hard from sun up to sundown. In the next five years, I don't see why I can't be next to Joe Buck or Troy Aikman on Fox NFL Sunday calling them for a football game. You know, and most of all, I just want to be a role model to the kids in the community and, and, and all my cousins and my little brother and people that look up to me. I just want to do things the right way and make my mom and dad proud of me.